and today I'm going to show you how you can uh, go back to your stock ROM from your custom ROM okay so this this will work on any Samsung phone running Android operating system starting from Galaxy Y or Galaxy S4 Note 3 anything Grand S3 okay so to go back to your stock ROM uh, by using Odin you need to at first you need to go to this web website which is Sam mobile okay so once you go to this website here you have uh, um, here it's written that firmware so click on firmware okay so once you click on firmware this is the page and here on the search device here write the mobile model number so today I'm gonna show you how to go back on my Samsung Galaxy Grand so on uh, so we need to write its model number like i9082 okay so here you can see a uh, lots of uh, firmware okay so as I'm in India I'll click on India and here it says that only for registered user means at first you need to register on this website then only you can download the firmware okay so register and then click on the firmware which you want to download then download the whole firmware and once you download the whole firmware it will uh, be on a zip file or a rar file extract it and once you extract it you will get this this file okay this is a tar file md5 i9082xx i downloaded this mk3 firmware which is size is about 1.4 GB so uh, I'm gonna show you how you can flash this firmware via Odin so at first um, I'm gonna show you something on phone okay you need to download you need to download this triangle away application okay, triangle away will uh here it says flash counter is one so reset your flash counter at first flash counter reset okay so after clearing the bean counter now you need to turn on your phone in download mode so uh, to turn on your phone in download mode we need to press this volume down plus home plus power on the same time so volume down home power and uh, press and hold it for five seconds so we are in download mode and here it says volume up to continue volume up and here it says that uh, product counter is Samsung official system status is official that means you got your warranty back now we need to just flash the stock firmware so to, stock, uh, to flash the stock firmware uh, okay to flash the stock firmware we need an application on PC it's called Odin which is this one okay so to right click and run as administrator okay and this is the UI so now I'm in download mode and I will connect it to and I will connect my USB cable with the phone which is this one okay and here it says communication port 3 is connected okay now uh, we need to click on PDF and uh, select the firmware which we have downloaded for I mean the stock firmware this one I9082 okay and guys just check that it's in download mode and uh, communication port we connected auto reboot should be tick flash time should be tick don't tick on repartition just keep it as it is by default and uh, select the PDF file as firmware 
okay now press on start okay guys so finally the uh, installing procedure has been started on Odin and here on and here you can see it's flashing via Odin okay and uh, here it says pass pass means everything went right now just disconnect the cable and we should be on the stock farmer so finally we have flashed the stock farmer via Odin guys uh, as you have flashed the stock farmer via Odin it might take a little time to boot about three to four minutes so be patient don't worry your phone is all right okay and uh, so be patient and it should boot in a few minutes guys the phone uh, still trying to boot up it's about five minutes if this thing happens it's okay normal don't worry then just do one thing just take out the battery okay and uh, wait for a few seconds then reinsert the battery and directly go to recovery mode to go to re recovery mode volume up okay home power So this is the stock recovery, don't worry, just press these buttons. Alright. Now you, we are in stock recovery mode. Now do a wipe data factory set. Okay, and uh, do a wipe cache. Okay, that's it. And now I guess your phone should be booted up pretty fast. This thing happens, don't worry. Let's put the phone right here. Okay guys, the phone has finally booted up after doing a vibrator factory reset from stock recovery if you like this video then please click on like button and thanks for watching bye